Hello? Uh, hello. Is Mike Whitworth there, please? No, he's at a conference this week. Can I help? Well, my name's David Bartlett. I met Mike last month at a conference in Belgium, and he asked me to phone him when I was in London about a possible joint project. Can I give him a message? Uh, yes, please. As I said, I'm in London this week, and my mobile number is 077-00900004. I'm leaving for Belgium again on Friday evening, so uh, it would be good if you could call before then. Could you ask him to call me? Yes, OK. Could you give me your name again? Sure. It's David Bartlett. B-A-R-T-L-E-T-T. Can you repeat the number, please? It's 077-00900004. That's fine. I've got that. I'll ask him to ring you when he gets back tomorrow evening. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Two. Western Textiles, good morning. Hello. Is Bob Harrison there, please? I'll see if he's in the office. Who's calling? François Bertrand. Uh, please hold the line. I'll see if I can transfer you. Sorry, he's in a meeting at the moment, I'm afraid. Can I help you? Well, I met Bob Harrison in Spain last week at the Madrid Trade Fair. He suggested I should call him this week. When will he be free? Do you know? I'm afraid I don't know. Shall I ask him to call you as soon as he can? Yes, please. That would be good. Could I have your name again, please? Yes, it's François... F-R-A-N-C-O-I-S Bertrand B-E-R-T-R-A-N-D Thank you. And your phone number? Yes, I am back in France now. My number is 39 46 57 93. And I think the code from the UK is 0033, then 1 for Paris. Right. Can I confirm the number? 00331-3946-5793. That's right. I'll ask Bob Harrison to give you a ring as soon as he's free. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Task 5. Richard Dawson speaking. Can I help you? Oh, hello, Richard. It's Hannah Booth. Uh -huh. How are you? Fine, thanks, but uh, busy as usual. Sorry to bother you. Mm -hmm. I've just got a quick question. Could you give me the company name and the phone number of that person you mentioned last week? You told me about a woman who runs an import-export office in Taiwan. Do you remember? Uh, yes, I do. She's called Carla Parker. Mm. Um, I don't know her phone number offhand, but I can look it up for you. Uh, I can't do it right now, but I could call you in about an hour. How long are you going to be in the office? I'll be here till about six. Okay, well, I'll call you before then. Talk to you later. That's great. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Task six. Good morning, Motor Systems UK. Can I help you? Good morning. I'm phoning from Star Cars International. I'd like to speak to someone about an order. Right. I'll put you through to the customer services department. Thank you. Mark Wheeler speaking. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Wheeler. This is Nick Sheridan from Star Cars International. I'd be grateful if you could bring our order forward, as we need the parts more urgently than we thought. Can you help? Uh, possibly. Can you give me the order number? Then I can check. Um, yes. It's 83952-026. Hold on a moment while I get it up on my screen. Oh, yes, I see. 83952-026. You ordered 60 QP pump motors and a series of spare parts. That's right. Would you be able to bring forward the delivery date to October? Uh, October, and you originally wanted the order by the end of the year. That may be difficult, as we're very busy at the moment. Um, I'll see what we can do. Can I ring you back, Mr... Sheridan. Yes, please. Call me as soon as you can. Could you give me your phone number? Or is it the one on the order? 
Well, that's the main office number, but my direct line is 020 9421. OK, I've got that. Good. Um, I'll get back to you by tomorrow at the latest. Thank you very much. I'd appreciate anything you can do. Goodbye. Task 7. 1. Hannah Booth speaking. Oh, hello, Hannah. It's Richard Dawson returning your call. Oh, hi. I've got the information you wanted about the import-export person in Taiwan. Oh, Richard, thanks so much. Sorry I disturbed you earlier. <laughs> That's okay. I was between meetings. Oh, right. Now, what's the name of the company Carla Parker runs? It's Atlas Import and Export. That's A-T-L-A-S. Right. I've got that. Mm -hmm. And what's her phone number? It's 00886 7 65 Eight eight three four five six. Okay, Atlas Import and Export. Right. Double O double eight six seven six five double eight three four five six. Mm -hmm. That's great. I'll call her tomorrow. Thanks very much, Richard. No problem. I hope she can help you. So do I. Anyway, thanks again, and sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, and hope to see you before too long. Two. Hello, Star Cars International. Hello, is Mr. Sheridan there, please? This is Mark Wheeler from Motor Systems UK. Hold on. He's not answering his phone. I'll try and find out where he is. Hello, sorry to have kept you waiting. Hello, Mr. Sheridan. It's Mark Wheeler from Motor Systems UK. You rang yesterday about your order for pumps and spare parts. Oh, yes, good. Have you been able to do anything about bringing the delivery date forward? Yes. I've checked with the plant, and we can send you the whole lot by the 20th of October. Oh, that's excellent. Really good. Thanks very much. Is that definite? Yes, absolutely. Well, it'll make a lot of difference to our efficiency this end. I'm very grateful to you for arranging it. That's fine. I'll email confirmation of all the new arrangements to you right now. Good. And once again, thank you very much for all your help. You're welcome. I'm glad we could do it for you. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. Task 11. 1. Wallace, could you spell that for me, please? W-A-L-L-A-C-E. 2. Lefebvre, could you spell that for me, please? L E F E V R E. Three. Shoppen. Could you spell that for me, please? S C H O double P E N. Four. McDonough. Could you spell that for me, please? M C. Capital D, O N A G H. Five. Takamura, could you spell that for me, please? T A K A M U R A. Six. Cricky, could you spell that for me, please? C R I double C H I. Task twelve. One. It's eleven thirty a.m. A. Hello, is that Julia? B. Hello, is Fernando there, please? C. Good morning, is Kirsten there, please? Now it's 3 p.m. D. Hello, I rang earlier. Has Julia finished her meeting yet? E. Hello, could I speak to Fernando, please? F. Hello, is that the office Kirsten works in? Could I speak to her, please? 2. A. 
Oh, hello. Listen, I've got a meeting starting in two minutes, so I can't talk long. B. Motor Systems UK. Good morning. Can I help you? C. Mark Wheeler speaking. Can I help? D. I'm afraid she's in a meeting. Can I take a message? Hold the line, please. Task 1. 1. Paperworks printers, can I help you? Well, I hope so. I've just tried calling Jim Channon's direct line, but there's no reply. He asked me to call this morning. Well, he must be away from his desk. Hold the line, please, and I'll try to connect you. Who's calling, please? Renata Schatke. Sorry, could you repeat that, please? Yes, it's Renata Schatke. S-C-H-A-T-K-E. Right. Just a moment, please, Miss Schatke. I'm putting you through to Mr. Channon right now. Hello, Jim Channon speaking. Two. New Orbis Group, can I help you? Yes. Could I speak to Liz Hunt, please? Could you hold on for a moment, please? She's not answering her phone, but I know she's in the office today. Yes, she asked me to ring her today. Could you hold the line and I'll try and find her? Who's calling, please? Yoshida Tokoko. Sorry, could you repeat your name? Yes, it's Yoshida Tokoko. That's T O K U K O. Thank you, Mr. Tokoko. She's on another extension. Hold on a moment and I'll transfer you. Thanks. Hello, Mr. Tokoko. Liz Hunt speaking. I'm sorry you've had to wait. There are a few points we need to discuss and... Uh... Task 5. Hello, this is Tina White. Can I speak to Colin Rigby, please? I'm sorry, did you say you want to speak to Mr. Rigby? Yes, I did. Colin Rigby. Well, I'll just check my lists, but I'm fairly sure there isn't a Mr. Rigby working here. I'm trying to speak to Mr. Colin Rigby at Packard Enterprises. The number I have is 01632587641. Well, that's our number, but this is Packard Electric. You've got the wrong company. Oh, thank you. I have to check the number in the file again. Sorry to have bothered you. That's all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Task 6. Hello, could I speak to Frank Patterson, please? Yes, could you hold on? I'll just put you through. Who's calling, please? Teresa Lombardo. I'm calling from Italy. No problem, Ms. Lombardo. One moment, please. Frank Patterson speaking. Hello, Frank. It's Teresa Lombardo. Hi. How are things? Fine, thanks. What about you? Good, thanks. How can I help? It's about the May consignment. I wanted to warn you that it was a bit late getting to the container terminal, so it'll be a few days late arriving at your end. But will it definitely get here before the end of the month? Oh, yes, definitely. I've had that confirmed. Fine. That's no problem, then. The other thing to mention is that the second container has the spare parts you ordered. Right. I'm glad to hear that. And I imagine the documents are on the way, too? Oh, yes, of course, as usual. Good. Is there anything else? No, that's all I wanted to confirm. Will you be coming over here soon for a visit? It doesn't look like it. I'm too busy, and as things seem to be going smoothly, I don't think I need to come this half of the year. Well, let us know, and we look forward to seeing you again before too long. Same here. Thanks for calling. Bye for now. Bye. Task 7. Welcome to Central Insurance Services. In order for us to deal with your call as quickly as possible, please select one of the following options. If you are calling to report an accident or to make a claim on your motor insurance policy, please press 1 now. If you are calling regarding a query, a change or the renewal or cancellation of your motor insurance policy, please press 2 now. If you are calling regarding your direct debit payments or other payments, please press 3 now. 
For all other queries, please hold and wait for a customer service advisor to assist you. If you would like to hear the menu again, please press 4 now. Task 11. 1. When did you last see her? On the 9th of July, 2002. 2. What date did you start working here? On the 17th of September, 2001. 3. When's the meeting? On Wednesday, June the 12th. 4. What's your date of birth? It's the 7th of December, 1983. 5. What's the date of the presentation? Tuesday, the 25th of April. 6. When was the contract renewed? On February 11th, 2003. 7. When are you going on holiday? On Thursday, March the 15th. 8. What's the date on the document? The 29th of August, 1999. 9. When was the product launched? On the 10th of May, 2000. 10. When does the license expire? On the 21st of October, 2012. Task 12. 1. Select services. Can I help you? 2. I'm afraid Liz Hunt is off sick today. Can I help? 3. Frank Patterson speaking. How can I help? 4. Hello, I wanted to speak to someone in the Human Resources Department. Making Inquiries Task 1 1 Welcome to Capital Investment Services. If you would like to discuss fund management, please press 1 now. If you wish to buy or sell shares, please press 2 now. If your inquiry is to do with foreign exchange, please press 3 now. If you have a general inquiry, please press 4 now. Thank you. We will connect you with a financial consultant shortly. Sorry to keep you waiting. My name's Daniel Evans. How may I help you? Oh, hello. My name's Anna Woods. My investor reference is CIS698AW. Thank you. Let me just get your details up on my screen. CIS698AW, did you say? Yes, that's right. Fine. How can I help you, Ms. Woods? I'd like you to buy some shares for me in a company called BioWorld. I think I'd like 500 shares. OK, I'll look into that now and call you back with the details. Could you give me your number, please? Yes, it's 01632-639-404. I'll be out for about two hours this afternoon, so please call me before 3.30 if you can. Yes, I'll certainly call before then. That's fine. Thank you. Goodbye, Ms. Woods. 2. Globe Travel Agency. Good morning. My name's Annabelle Davis. How may I help you? Hello. I'd like to make a reservation for three people on a flight from London to Sydney next month. Yes, of course. Uh, could I have your name and phone number before we start, please? Yes, it's Dominique Lafontaine. L-A-F-O-N-T-A-I-N-E. And my office number is 01025 Two six five, two six five. Thank you. Now, how many people are travelling, and what are your dates? Three of us are going, and we have to leave London on the 11th of June, 
Returning on the 30th. Right. We don't really mind if the flights are not direct. I see. Well, I'll just check. No. British Airways and Qantas flights are direct. Ah, uh, I see that if you want to return on the 30th of June, the price with BA is £895. But if you could come back on the 28th of June, the return fare would be £650. And what about Qantas? Well, hmm, it looks rather similar with them too. There seems to be less availability with the return date of the 30th of June. I know that Virgin Atlantic flights stop over in Kuala Lumpur, and they may have more availability. Uh, shall I look into it and give you a ring back once I've got all the details? Oh, that would be good, yes, please. Let me just confirm your number. I've got 01025 265 265 Dominic Lafontaine. That's it. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'll call back within an hour. Goodbye. Task 5 Welcome to the Riverbank Cinema Line. To hear film showing times or to book tickets, please stay on the line. If your inquiry is not related to film information or advanced booking, please phone the Cinema Direct on 020 7946 001. Please press the star button on your telephone twice now. Please select one of the following options. To listen to film showing times, press 1. To make an advanced booking, press 2. To listen to ticket price information, press 3. To listen to directions to the cinema, press 4. To listen to general information, press 5. Adult tickets. Standard £6.50. Superior £7.50. Students and senior citizens, all day, every day. Standard, £5.50. Superior, £6.50. Children under 15 years of age, all day, every day. Standard, £5.20. Superior, £6.20. A family ticket is available for two adults and two children, or one adult and three children for £17. If you would like to hear the options again, please press zero. Task 6 Eastern Computers, good morning. Hello, can I speak to Takumi Kiyama, please? Hold the line while I connect you, please. Hello, Takumi Kiyama speaking. Hello, this is Maggie Redwood. How are you? Oh, hello, Maggie. I'm fine, thanks. And you? Just fine, thanks. Now, I'm calling because I'd like you to give me a price, please. Of course. What is it? I'm trying to do some costings, and I need to know how much your XJ33 power supplies are. I've looked at your website, but I can't find the information there. It depends how many you would be ordering. The first order would be for a thousand. Hold on for a moment while I get the prices up on my screen. Yes, nearly there. Yes, for a thousand, the price is $29.50 each. That's not much more than the XJ25 that you're using at the moment. Yes, that's true. But anyway, I'm still doing the costings now, so I'm not quite ready to place an order yet. I'll be in touch when I'm ready to make a firm order. Good. Now, while you're on the phone, can I tell you about one of the products we've been developing, which you might find very useful? The XJ44M is a power supply for use in notebook computers. Hmm, sounds interesting. Can you send me a sample for testing, then? I'd be glad to. I'll confirm this by email later. Is that all for now? Yes, I think so. Bye. Thanks for calling. Bye. Task 7 Good morning, Bebbington Porcelain. How may I help you? Good morning. I'd like to speak to the sales director, please. Of course. I'll just put you through. May I ask who's speaking? Yes, it's Eva Frey from the International Shop in Berlin. Thank you, Miss Frey. I'm putting you through to Mr. Corbett now. Hello, Eva. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Generally good, but we're busy. So are we, I'm glad to say. That's why I'm calling. I've had an inquiry from a big conference center here who want to replace some of their tableware.
They've already done extensive research of their own and have looked at other comparable lines from your competitors and have decided what they want. They're now comparing prices and looking for good discounts for a large order. I think that if we want their business, we'll have to offer them very favorable terms. Yes, I see what you mean. What line are they thinking about? They particularly like the Blue Room collection. Right. Now, what sort of quantity are you talking about? Um, they'd like the tableware service for 200 people. And, of course, they'd place subsequent orders with you when they want to replace more of their tableware. Yes, I see. Well, sounds good. Well, as you're one of our most important stockists in Germany, we'd be able to offer you a discount of 7.5%. Of course, I'm sure you understand that these terms are special for this particular order. And for all orders from your other customers, we'd have to revert to our normal discount of 5%. Yes, I understand that. Now, can I confirm that the price of a complete box tableware set with six of everything is 120 euros? Yes, that's six each of the soup bowls, side plates, dinner plates and cups and saucers. It doesn't include pasta dishes, dessert bowls or any of the serving dishes, of course. No, I realize that. I'll have to get back to them about all the other pieces they will need. I've got all the information in your catalogue. Would you offer me the same terms for orders on those two? Yes, we would offer the same discount that I've just quoted. Right. Well, that's very helpful. I'll get back to you once I've had a meeting with them to discuss the terms. I'm optimistic that they'll place the order within the month. Could you email me the terms of the discount you quoted, just for the record, please? Yes, of course. We'll do that today. And I hope your meeting with the conference centre managers goes well. Thanks for the call, Eva. Thanks. Bye. Task 11. 1. How do you spell her surname? T-I-P-H-A-I-G-N-E Two. When's he arriving? The estimated time of arrival is 10.25 a.m. Three. How do you spell the name of the building? K-E-U-M-S-U-N-G. Four. When did you say the meeting will be held? At 2.30 p.m. on the 17th of July. 5. Could you tell me the price of a single room, please? 130 euros. 6. How much do you charge for postage and packing? £3.75. 7. When do you need the report? As soon as possible. Eight. What do we need to send you? The form and a stamped addressed envelope. Task 12. Choice Travel, can I help you? When do you want to go? And how long do you want to stay? Well, there are some very early flights which don't cost too much. Do you mind what time you leave in the morning? There's a flight at 5.20 on the 6th of April. Is that too early? Then there's a flight back on the 13th of April at 6.30am. Would that be OK? The return fare on those flights is £180. How does that sound? Shall I book those for you then? Placing an order. Task 1. 1. Fast taxi service, can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like to book a taxi at about a quarter to nine, please. Sure. Where are you calling from? I'm at Etienne's Restaurant in North Michigan Avenue. Okay, and where do you want to go? I'm going to the airport because I'm catching a flight back to Milan tonight. 
But I need to stop on the way to pick up my luggage from my hotel. Yes, which hotel? It's the Lincoln Hotel. What time's your flight? I need to be at the airport at 10. That should be okay. Can you tell me your name, please? Yes, it's Maria Penella. Right, Miss Penella. There'll be a car outside the restaurant at 8.45. Please wait outside the restaurant. Thanks very much. Thanks for your booking. Bye. Two. Ultra Clothing, Tim speaking. How may I help you? I'd like to place an order, please. Certainly. Have you got a customer reference number? Probably, because I've ordered from you before. Where do I find it? It'll be on the front of the catalogue, above your name and address. Found it. It's UC6845-547. Does that sound right? Yes. Bear with me while I find your details. Can you confirm your postcode, please? Yes, it's BA26PS. And are you Ms. Jane Chapman at 61 London Road? That's right. Now, what would you like to order? It's on page 44 of the catalogue, the cycling gloves, reference HG5610. What size would you like? Large, please. OK. Would you like to order anything else? Not for the moment, thanks. That's £17.50, including post and packing. Can you give me your credit card details, please? Yes. My number's 4929 4750 4213 9771. Expiry 0205. Thank you. That's just going through. Your order should be with you in five working days. That's great. Thanks. Bye. Three. Central Office Supplies. Thank you for calling our automated ordering line. If you would like to order a copy of our latest brochure, please press 1 on your phone now. If you are already a customer and would like to make an order for stationary supplies, please press 2 now. For us to process your order, you will be asked to key in your customer number first. Please key in your customer number now, followed by the star button. Thank you. Please key in the reference number of the item you wish to order, followed by the star button. Five, three, six, star. You have ordered item five, seven, three, six. Now key in the quantity you require, followed by the star button. Twenty-five, star. You have ordered twenty-five of this item. If you have completed your order, please press five. If you wish to continue ordering, please press three. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Please key in the reference number of the item you wish to order, followed by the star button. Four, nine, seven, five. Star. You have ordered item four, nine, seven, five. Now key in the quantity you require, followed by the star button. Uh, Thirty. Star. You have ordered thirty of this item. If you have completed your order, please press five. If you wish to continue ordering, Please press 3. Okay. Uh, that's all I want. Thank you. We have registered your order, and you should receive it within five working days. It will be added to your company account at the end of the month. Please make a note of your order number now. It is COS9321 slash 0. One, nine. If you need to hear your order number again, please press... Task 5.
Blooming Flowers, Martha speaking. Can I help you?、Uh, yeah, I'd like to order some flowers to be delivered to my home address on Friday, please. Yes, that's no problem. What sort of flowers would you like? Well,、uh, I suppose it depends on the prices. How much would a large bouquet of mixed spring flowers cost? Prices for a mixed bouquet start at forty-five dollars. Okay, and how much would a big bunch of red roses cost? It depends on the number you want, of course. Roses are five dollars a stem.、Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I'd like to order fifteen red roses, please. Was that fifteen? Yes, that's it. Right. Can I have your name, please? It's James Elliot. And who would you like them to be sent to? To Caterina Santiago, please. And what's the address? Forty-three Pennsylvania Avenue, Bloomington. And when would you like them delivered? Well, they should be there before six p.m. on May twelfth, please. Fine. And would you like to include a message on the card? <laughs> yes.、Uh, can you please put "Happy Birthday, All My Love, J." Oh, that's fine. Now, how would you like to pay? Credit card.、Uh, my number is four nine two nine eight one five seven zero nine eight four. Five one five two. Expiration is zero five zero five. Thank you. That's just going through. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you for your order. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Tell us. Jennifer Sato speaking. Hello, Jennifer. It's Serge Duval from BGX Computers. Hello, Serge. How nice to hear from you again. How can I help? Well, you'll remember we spoke the other day about the price you could give me for 1,000 CM25 hard drives. Yes, of course. Well, we are ready to place the order now. But instead of 1,000, we now need 1,500 of them, and we need them really quite urgently. I see. I just need to check on the stock situation. Hold on. Yes, that's no problem. We've got plenty in stock. We can dispatch them later this week and send them by air freight. You should have them early next week. Good. The other thing I wanted to discuss was the price. You said eighty-nine dollars a piece, didn't you? Yes, I did. But that was the price you gave me for one thousand. I was hoping you could reduce it for fifteen hundred. Well, I can offer you eighty-eight dollars each, provided the account is settled immediately by bank transfer, rather than waiting for your monthly account to be paid. Okay, that sounds reasonable. I can arrange that now. Does that include insurance and delivery by air freight? Oh yes, it's all included. Right. In that case, it's a firm order. Good. I'll send you an email now with confirmation of the details of the order and the amount to be transferred. And I'll make sure the order is dispatched as fast as possible. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll confirm everything now. Thanks for calling. Bye. Task seven. Terracotta Italiana, Alessandra Tausia speaking. Can I help you? Oh yes, hello, Alessandra. It's Brigitta Schmidt calling from the Edelweiss Garden Center in Zurich. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. I'm phoning because I was just about to send an email with a repeat order for several terracotta pots when I realized I needed to ask a question about one of the pots in your new catalog before I go ahead and order it. Which one? It's the 75 centimeter pot on page 39, item number CC75. It wasn't in last year's catalog, was it? No, it's part of a new range we've got in from a Venetian company. What do you want to know? Well, is it guaranteed frostproof? You know how cold it can get here. It would be terrible if they cracked in frost.、Mm, I don't know about that actually. I'll have to contact the company and check that out for you. I'm not sure whether they guarantee their pots that size against frost. We haven't dealt with this company before, so I'll have to come back to you on that. Well, I need to know before I order any. How long will it take to find out? I'm not quite sure, but I'll get back to you in a couple of days. Do you want to make the main order now? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Well, we'd like 125 centimeter pots, reference number AZ25. 
120 35 cm pots, reference number AZ35, 150 40 cm pots, reference number AZ40, and 175 50 cm pots, reference number AZ50. Fine, I've got all that. They all sold very well last season, and we've already had inquiries from customers who want more. Great. Now, this order will be dispatched on the 21st of March and will be sent by road in the usual way. I'll be able to confirm a delivery date in a couple of days when I get back to you about the large pots. How does that sound? Fine. Thanks very much. Thanks for the order, and I'll be in touch again by Thursday. Bye. Task 11. One. What's the dialing code for Spain? It's 0034. Two. Have you got the item reference number? Yes, it's CH5067 slash 39. Three. What's the website address of Cambridge Dictionaries? It's dictionary.cambridge.org. Four. Do you know their postcode in Vienna? Yes, it's A-1010 Wien. Five. Do you know what his phone number is? Yes, it's 0082 Six. What's the BBC Radio 4 website address? It's bbc.co.uk forward slash radio 4. Seven. What's the insurance policy number, please? It's 4381869E slash 06. Eight. Can you give me her email address? Yes, it's florian at pondnet.com. Nine. What's your credit card number? It's 5797-4132-6581-2976. 10. I need to know the invoice number. It's KL7954-326. 12. Super Tense, Richard speaking. How may I help you? Certainly. Could you give me the reference number from the catalogue? OK. Was that XD-4765? And what price have you got? OK. Can I have your name, please? Thanks. And your postcode, please? That's Greenwood Road, Wimbledon, isn't it? Can you give me the number? And what's your credit card number and expiry date, please? That's fine. Thank you for your order. Goodbye. This bus goes all the way to the Santa Anita Mall, right? Yeah, it'll take us there. Are you positive? I always catch this bus. How long is this bus ride? Hmm, it, it only takes about a half an hour. Where do we get off at? We can get off the bus right behind Macy's. There's a stop right next to the mall? Yeah, it's right in the parking lot. That's cool. Yeah, I know. Does this bus really go to the mall? It goes all the way there. Are you sure? I know it does. I catch this bus a lot. How long does it take for the bus to get there? The bus ride is only 30 minutes or so. 
Where do we get off the bus? Right behind Macy's is a bus stop. The stop is really at the mall? It's in the middle of the parking lot. That's perfect. I know it is. Are you sure that this bus will take us to the Santa Anita Mall? Yes, it will. You know that for a fact? Yeah, I take this bus all the time. Is it a very long bus ride? It's about 30 minutes long. Do you know where we get off at? There's a bus stop right behind Macy's. Really? There's a bus stop right by the mall? There's a bus stop in the mall parking lot. That's convenient. Absolutely. I need to get on another bus, but I have no more money. Where'd the rest of your money for the bus go? I spent it on a bag of chips. Well, that was an intelligent thing to do. You don't have any spare change? No, I don't. How am I going to get home? You should just ask the bus driver for a transfer. How much does that cost? It's free. Just go ask for one. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. Just go ask. I'm broke and I have to catch another bus. Why don't you have any money for another bus? I got hungry and I bought some chips. That was smart. Anyways, do you have any change I can use for the bus? I don't have any. I don't know how I'm going to get home. You know, get a transfer from the bus driver. How much is a transfer? It doesn't cost anything. That's great. Thanks for your help. You know what? Don't mention it. I don't have any more cash and I have to get on another bus to get home. Why don't you have any more money? I wanted some chips at lunch today, so I spent it. That was a bright idea. I know. Do you have some change I can borrow? You know what? I don't have any change for you. I need to get home. Why don't you just ask the bus driver for a transfer? I don't have any money for a transfer. You know, go ask for a transfer. They're free. Really? Oh, I'm glad you let me know. You're welcome. Where is the bus? I think it's running late. It should have been here 30 minutes ago. It should be coming soon. It better, because I'm already late for work. I can't stand riding the bus. Me too. It's so unreliable. That is true. It's also horrible having to be at a bus stop in any kind of weather. Exactly. That's the worst part. I think it's time we started driving. Yes, I agree. When is the bus going to get here? It's obviously late. It was scheduled to be here about 30 minutes ago. I'm sure it'll be here in a little bit. I hope so, because I'm running really late for work. You know, I hate having to take the bus every day. So do I. You can never count on public transportation. Exactly. I really can't stand being at the bus stop in the heat and rain. I know what you mean. We're going to have to get a car of our own. I couldn't agree with you more. I want to get on the bus already. It just isn't on time today. It was supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. I think it'll be here pretty soon. I need to get to work, so it better. I really do hate public transportation. I agree. It's just never on time. That's right. I also hate having to stand at a bus stop in all kinds of weather. Oh, that's the worst. We need to get a car. I completely agree with that. Is this our bus stop? I think this is it. Get off. Dude, where are we at? I have no idea. I thought this was the right stop. It doesn't look right to me. Did you make us get off early? I think we did. I should not have listened to you. I really thought this was our stop. Now we have to walk. Maybe we should just wait for the next bus. I'm not sure. Is this our stop? Yeah, get off the bus. Do you have any idea where we are? I'm really not sure. This can't be the right stop. I don't think this is right. We got off too early, didn't we? Yeah, we did get off too early. I should have just stayed on the bus. I messed up. Great. We have to walk now. You want to wait for the next bus? Are we supposed to get off right here? I think so. Hurry up and get off. Where are we? I don't know. You said this was the right stop. I think I was wrong. Did we get off the bus too early? I don't know. It kind of looks like we did. 
Why did you tell me to get off? I'm sorry. I thought this was our stop. I really don't feel like walking. We could always wait for the next bus to come. I need to buy a bus pass. What kind of bus pass would you like to buy? What are the different kinds? You can get a day, a weekly, a monthly, or a student pass. Could I get a student pass, please? Sure. Can I see your student ID? Sure. Here it is. Very good. How much for the pass? It's free. For the monthly sticker, it's $24. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you for your purchase. You're welcome. I would like to get a bus pass. Do you know what kind of pass you want? Can you tell me my options? There are passes for a day, month, and week, and there are student passes. I'd like to get the student pass. Let me see your student ID. Here you go. Thank you very much. How much will it be for the pass? The monthly sticker is $24, but the actual pass is free. That'll be fine. We appreciate your business. Could I buy a bus pass today? Which bus pass would you like to purchase? What kind of passes are there? There are day passes, weekly passes, monthly passes, and student passes. Let me get a student pass. Could I see your student ID, please? No problem. Here you go. Thanks. How much does this pass cost? The pass is free. The monthly sticker costs $24. That's fine, then. I hope you enjoy your pass. Where do we get off at? I think we have a little ways to go. This bus ride is taking forever. I know. Did we miss our stop? I'm not sure. Didn't you say you knew where to get off the bus? I don't know. We may have missed our stop. Are you serious? Yeah, we did miss it. I can't catch the bus with you anymore. Sorry. Do you know which stop we get off at? We still have more to go, I think. We've been on this bus for a while now. You're right. Should we have gotten off the bus already? I don't think so. I thought you knew. Maybe we did miss our stop. Really? I'm positive that we missed our stop. I'm never catching the bus with you again. My mistake. When do we get off the bus? I think we have a while longer. I feel like we've been on this bus forever. That's true. Are you sure we weren't supposed to get off already? I don't know. I thought you knew where we get off at. I wasn't really paying attention. I think we missed our stop. Seriously? Yeah, we definitely missed our stop. That's the last time I get on a bus with you. My bad. Sorry. So, where's this bus supposed to take us? It should take us back up to Altadena. Well, don't you know for sure? I'm not really sure if it does or not. Are you sure we got on the right bus? I've never taken this bus, but I think it's the right one. This place doesn't look like Altadena. That's true, and we have been on this bus for a while. Read one of those street signs or something. Yikes! Temple City? That's the last time I'm trusting you with the transportation. My bad, but at least we know the right bus to take us back. Do you even know where this bus is supposed to go? It should take us all the way up to Altadena. Don't you know? I'm not positive if it does or not. Is this the right bus or not? I have never been on this bus, but I'm sure it's the right one. Where are we? This is not Altadena. I know, and we've been on the bus forever. Tell me what the street sign says. Oh my gosh, that one says Temple City. Next time, I'll look for the bus myself. Well, now I know the bus that'll take us back. Are you sure you know where this bus goes? It should go to Altadena. What do you mean, it should? I'm not completely sure if it really does. Dude, are we on the right bus? I'm almost positive that this is the right one. It doesn't look like we're on our way to Altadena. We have been riding this bus for a long time. What does that sign say? I think it says Temple City. Yeah, I'm never trusting you with the bus schedules again. I'm sorry, but at least we know which bus to catch to get back where we started. Yeah, at least. How much does it cost for a bus pass? It'll be $65 for a monthly pass. 
Is there anything cheaper than that? If you're in school, you can get a student pass. Well, I am. How much will that cost? The pass is free. I don't have to pay for anything? You'll only have to pay for the monthly sticker. How much is the monthly sticker? It's $24 for each month. I'll take the student bus pass. Okay, I will get you one. Can you tell me the price for a bus pass? It costs $65 to buy a monthly bus pass. Is there a cheaper bus pass? There are student passes. For how much? It doesn't cost anything for the pass. It's absolutely free? The monthly sticker costs you. How much is that? Each month, it'll cost $24 for a new sticker. Let me get the student bus pass. Let me go get it for you. How much for a bus pass? Well, for a monthly pass, it'll cost you $65. Is there anything else that doesn't cost as much? If you're a student, you can get a student bus pass. How much does a student pass cost? That actual bus pass is free. It doesn't cost anything? Uh, the only thing you'll have to pay for is the monthly sticker. Can you tell me how much that'll cost? It's only $24 a month. Sounds good. Let me get that. I'll get it for you right now. Hey, how's it going? Good. How about you? Not bad. Thanks for asking. Have you been on the bus for a while? Only about 15 minutes. Do you ride this bus often? Not really. I usually drive. You have a car? Yes, I do. So why aren't you driving it? Once our president lowers gas prices, I'll be driving again. Vroom, vroom. That's smart thinking. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, you. I'm awesome. How long have you been on the bus? I've been on here for like 15 minutes. Do you catch this bus a lot? Not much. I have a car. So you have your own car? I sure do. Then why are you on the bus with me? I'm waiting till our president gets out of office and the gas prices go down. That's good thinking. What's up? How are you? I'm splendid. How about yourself? Could be better. So have you been on the bus very long? I got on about 15 minutes ago. How often do you ride the bus? I usually drive. You have your own vehicle? Yes, I have my own car. So then why don't you drive it? I'm waiting for our president to lower the gas prices. Smart. Can you tell me what bus to catch from Altadena to downtown L.A.? You can catch the 486. That bus goes all the way to L.A.? I believe so. Is the bus ride long? It only takes 45 minutes to an hour. That's all? It's a pretty short trip. Now, is there always a lot of people on that bus? It only gets crowded once it gets to L.A. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Do you know a bus I can take from Altadena to downtown L.A.? I believe you can take the 486. Will that bus really take me to L.A.? It sure will. Is it a very long ride? It's a 45 minute to an hour ride. Really? It doesn't take long at all. Do a lot of people ride that bus? More people start getting on around L.A. Wow, thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Is there a bus in Altadena that'll take me to downtown L.A.? The 486. The 486 really goes downtown? Yes, it does. How long is the bus ride? It's about 45 minutes to an hour. Is that right? Yeah, it's not that long of a trip. Is that a crowded bus? It starts getting more crowded the closer you get to L.A. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Have you bought your bus pass yet? I didn't get it yet. Well, why not? I have no idea where to get it from. You should have just asked me. Well then, where do I get it? You can get it from the student business office. I didn't know that. I know you didn't. I appreciate you telling me. No problem. I'll make sure to get it tomorrow. Did you get your bus pass? I haven't gone to get it yet. Why haven't you got it? I don't know where to go to get one. I know where to go get them from. Where do I get it? They sell them at the business office on campus. I had no idea. I'm sure you did it. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'll buy it later on today. Did you go and buy your bus pass? No, I didn't. 
When are you going to go get it? I'm not sure where they sell bus passes at. Why didn't you just ask me? Where should I go? You can get one from Student Services. I had no clue that I could get it there. I already knew that. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. I'm going to go and get it right now. What bus can I catch to get to the gold line? Tell me where you live. I live in Altadena. You can catch the 264. It goes to the gold line? Yes, it does. What street do I go to catch it? You can catch it on Altadena Drive. I had no idea that bus went to the station. Yes, it does. I'm glad you told me. You're welcome. Do you know a bus that goes to the gold line station? Do you live in Pasadena? My house is up in Altadena. You could always take the 264. It'll really take me to the station? It goes all the way there. Do you know what street it goes on? Catch it on Altadena Drive. I would have never known. Now you know. I appreciate you telling me. No problem. I need to find a bus that'll take me to the gold line. Where do you live? I live up in Altadena. The 264 will take you there. It goes all the way there? I know for a fact that it goes all the way to the station. What street would I catch it on? If you go to Altadena Drive, you can catch it there. I didn't know that bus went to the Gold Line station. Yep, it does. Well, thanks for letting me know. It was my pleasure. Do you know which bus will take me from PHS to Vaughn's? Which Vaughn's do you want to go to? It's on Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You actually need to catch two buses. Okay, which one do I need to take? The first bus you need to get on is the 268. What do I do next? Once you get to Fair Oaks and Washington, get off. Then what should I do? You need to get on the 261. It goes all the way to Vons. Is that it? That's it. Which bus should I take for PHS to Vons? Can you tell me which Vons you want to go to? I believe that it's on uh, Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You'll have to catch two different buses to get there. Do you know which buses I need to take? The 268 is the first bus you need to catch. <laughs> what do I do after I get it on the 268? Get off when you get to Fair Oaks in Washington. Uh, did what? Catch the 261 and get off at Vaughn. That's all? That's all you have to do. Is there a bus that'll go all the way to Vaughn's from PHS? Where is this Vaughn's located? The Vaughn's on Fair Oaks and Orange Grove. You're going to need to take two buses to get to that Vaughn's. Which buses will I have to take? First, you need to get on the 268 going west. Then what do I do? You need to get off on Fair Oaks and Washington. What's next? Get on the 261 and it'll take you the rest of the way to Vaughn's. There's nothing else? That's all there is to it. I really need to find a bus that goes by PCC. Where do you need to catch this bus at? All the way up on Las Flores Drive and Fair Oaks. I can tell you what bus to catch, but you have to walk a little bit. Walking isn't a problem for me. The 267 stops at Altadena Drive and Fair Oaks. Which direction do I want? Get on the bus heading west. Do you know where I get off at? Del Mar and Hill. Thanks for letting me know, homegirl. No problem. Do you know which bus I can take to PCC? Tell me where you need to get on at. I live on Las Flores and Fair Oaks. If you don't mind walking, I know a bus you can take. I'm okay with walking. Walk all the way down Fair Oaks and catch the 267 on Altadena Drive. Do you know which direction it should be heading? You have to catch it going west. Which stop do I get off on? You need to get off on the corner of Del Mar and Hill. Thank you for telling me. It was my pleasure. I need to get to PCC, but I don't know which bus to catch. Where exactly are you coming from? I'm coming from Fair Oaks and Las Flores Drive in Altadena. Do you have a problem walking a little bit? I don't mind walking. If you walk down Fair Oaks to Altadena Drive, you can catch the 267. Tell me which direction it should be going. Make sure to catch it going west. Where do I get off? You get off on Del Mar and Hill. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it.